So that's one use case, but mm. I know you've also looked at, at autonomous driving, which is um, much more demanding and very, very low latency. That's where you sort of get into the tactile internet, yes. right? So if you look at it, uh, so the, the term that is used is highly automated driving and not autonomous driving. Okay. Because if you do autonomous driving, you just make the same mistake as that we humans do, right? We get in a car, we sit, in our car, behind the car in front of us. We accelerate, we slow down, we accelerate, we slow down, just to keep a constant distance. If we're a good driver, the passenger sitting on this passenger seat doesn't notice that we're actually accelerating, slowing down. And we, at some point in time, don't notice that either. So we are sort of a chain of all kinds of objects in the chain, and we're moving at a constant speed. Now, what happens if we're getting we're looking at the time, we're sort of a little pressed in time, so we decrease the distance to the car in front of us, and the guys or girls behind us do the same thing, and what happens then is when we start speeding up and the car in front of us starts slowing down, suddenly we notice that the car is slowing down, so we overreact, and then we get an instantaneous chain reaction which causes a traffic jam. So if you look at Autonomous driving, like a Tesla or a Google does it, and you go on one-on-one, -on -one, 101 in the Bay Area, and see a Tesla or a Google car in autonomous driving mode, it's horrible because the space it leaves in front of it is so big so that it doesn't come to this buildup of reaction, yes? So it is totally ineffective in terms of being able to move a ton of cars over the field. So you have to start now going from autonomous vehicles to highly automated driving, meaning they have to be connected, they have to talk to each other, so that they then can actually decrease the distance. So with trucks, experiments where experiments were done, the distance has to be in the connectivity and the communication latency has to be um, five milliseconds, and the distance to generate a drag is of five meters. Um, so that is what the distance is, at a speed of typically 55 miles an hour. Yes, that you have with trucks on, on a freeway to get them in a truck-to-truck -truck kind of mode and then the reaction time is good enough. Now cars are going not at 55, they're going maybe at 75, and in G Germany even faster. And uh, so, and their drag is not as big, so you have to get them closer to each other and then you have to get it down to this millisecond where you control all these cars, otherwise they'd start jiggling and you get chaos.